What is going on guys? It is Lauren and I'm back with another main channel video. Today's video, we're doing a challenge roulette. Now, I haven't done a challenge roulette since May, I think. Because the last one I did, I was not in the UK, I was in Cyprus. So, I was like, it's been a hot minute, let's do another one. So here we are, doing another one, nearly three months later. Yes. I used to do these so often, I feel like I used to do them like once every two weeks. I really want to start doing some more like new challenges. I have got lots of ideas, can't wait to share them with you guys, but until then, we have a challenge roulette. Guys, I have a 50% off discount on my exclusive site, 50% off. When you subscribe, you can see absolutely everything that's ever been posted. Yeah, you don't have to like subscribe and then pay more to see the stuff on the page. It's there, and you can see it, and it's uncensored, and it's stuff you won't find anywhere else. So yeah, subscribe. The link is on the page right now, and it's also in the pinned comments and in the description. So go and check it out, and let's get into the video. Okay, first one. Let's do this. Give me your best pickup line. Okay, um... I got one. If you were a cat, I'd spend all of my nine lives with you. Love you. <laughs> ah! I feel like every single pickup line I've ever used has been cringy. I've never actually used a pickup line to try and pull a guy, by the way. Just want to let you know. And I've actually never had a guy use a pickup line on me to try and pull me. I feel like... If you're a guy and you're trying to like get to know a girl, you just want to pull a girl, you just have to be confident, that's it. If you aren't confident, it really shows. So you just have to be confident and be like, yeah, I know what I want. And it might work. Who knows? <laughs> Next one. Name a position that you would recommend. Okay, a position I'd recommend. Oh my God, okay. So it's called speed bump. I don't know what everyone calls it. I call it speed bump, but you're like, I'll give you an example, one sec. You're on the bed, right? Let's say the, the guy's behind me. And you're like that, but instead put like a pillow under your stomach. So let's say this is a pillow, right? And then get the guy to like push down on your lower back. That one can hurt, but let me tell you. It feels good. So yeah, that's one I'd recommend. Um, yeah, I want to say, by the way, guys, I am a virgin, so, um, that's just what I've seen online. Never tried that, ever. Spoon feed yourself milk until you spill. What? Who the hell? Okay. I got my milk. Oh my god, it feels weird without cereal. Maybe I should put some cereal in it. I have some cereal in front of me. <laughs> I love cereal, by the way. I did kind of already spill it, because it dribbled down my chin. Not the only thing. <whistles> John Sam. It's, it's, a, it's like a cute little cup. I don't blindfolded. It's not really blindfolded, is it? It keeps dribbling down my chin. My tongue's gone white and milky. How do you like being kissed? So this is very specific. I actually haven't kissed a lot of people. And I feel like you have to kiss someone more than like once to know 
how that person likes being kissed because I feel like some people like soft kisses, some people like rough kisses, some people like sloppy kisses and yeah I, I feel like, I don't know, I think you have to kiss someone a few times to know their type of kiss which I don't usually do so yeah I don't kiss many people but if we like chilling I like normal cute kisses but if we're like in the bedroom then I love like rough sloppy spit in my mouth like that kind of stuff um I'll be honest so yeah yeah that's that's what I like um only some people can get away with spitting in a mouth do you know what I mean like I some people would let everyone spit in their mouth I would definitely not let everyone spit in my mouth it has to be very very selective so maybe there's like one person who could spit in my mouth and all the other people I just would not be okay with it <laughs> this is really weird okay this is very weird I'm moving on how do you like being kissed? Do you like being called good girl? Oh, I love it. It actually turns me on. Yeah. Call me good girl, daddy. I have daddy issues. Pour drink into your mouth from the air. From the air? So just sky my drink is what you meant to say. Well, I had water. Oh, here it is. Chum. Mm. Okay, ready? my nose <laughs> oh my god that was so bad no <laughs> ah mm -mm. that could not have looked any bad any more bad that was so bad what the hell ah i'm actually soaking I'm not gonna lie. What's a dirty sexual fantasy of yours? <laughs> okay, um, I, I would love to, like, rent out a red room for like a week. Is that too long? Maybe 24 hours. <laughs> I would not be able to walk. <laughs> it would be so bad after a week. Okay, so I would love, yeah, I would actually love to do that. Just like, I don't know how long you'd need it for, maybe 24 hours, maybe two days. Uh, it depends, obviously, if you want to have a sleep in between. Because you can't just, like, do it for 24 hours straight. Because I wouldn't be able to walk. I would be so sore, so swollen, and it would not be good. Um, so, yeah, I would love to do that. Um, that's what I want to do. When I find, like, my dream house, when I get my dream house, I'm going to make a red room. I'm going to do so much content in there. <laughs> what makes you feel loved? Oh, that's actually cute. What makes me feel loved? For me, it's just like about communication, eye contact, and how they are in person. Like, you want them to be, if they're like really nice over text, you want them to be really nice in person. You don't want them to be good in person and be blunt over text, or be blunt in person and good over, you know? You don't want that. So, I just feel like the energy has to match. Um, and communication, communication is so, so key. Um, so yeah, I feel like communication. And as well, just, cute things like forehead kisses which I actually don't really get so yeah I don't know most of the time I don't feel loved and I'm very lonely and depressed <laughs> what's something unexpected that turns you on oh okay um you know when you're like driving and someone puts their hand on your thigh that or even such things as I don't know, like when a guy grabs you and like pulls you in. Like, I don't know, even like hugs and then they pull you, hold you tighter. I don't know. I mean, I'm just a really horny person. I'll tell you straight. Do you have a type? No. Uh, the people I've been with are all very different. So I definitely do not have a type on paper. Like I might have like an overall type of like one thing. But like, I don't have a thing that I can put on paper and be like, oh, I like this, 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 this. Because like, I don't. Like I'm, I don't even like, I'm not someone that's like, Oh, I like tall, dark, and handsome. Like, I don't. I, yeah, you know? It's, I don't know. But something that you would try in the bedroom. I've tried it, like, once before. Um, but I want to try it being, like, tied up properly. Like, proper bondage. I want to try that. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I just think I'd love it. Um, but as well, I want to have a safe word. I don't want to be in a position where... So I'd, I think I'd have to do it with someone I trust and like... It would be... It has to be someone I'm really attracted to, someone I trust, and then... They'd have to know boundaries. I think that's the one problem with things like that, is some people forget that people have boundaries and sometimes it's too far for people. Um, so I feel like I'd have to be with someone where they know that if I say a certain thing, they're like, okay, cool, like that's too far, you know? Boundaries. Boundaries are so important. What's your top three positions? Okay, probably speed bump. Cowgirl, I love cowgirl. Just because I just love it like, boom. And I could just like stare into their eyes and then like my hair will fall down. And I'm just like, I love that. Yeah. I love eye contact. Missionary as well, probably not even speed bump. Probably missionary, girl on top, like cowgirl. And then maybe like the sideways one. That's good as well, like the spooning one. Cause like you can be on your side and like your legs can go where, you know, <laughs> you can do the most. <laughs> I feel like I'm being so open with you guys right now. I love it though. Okay, show us your squat technique. Let's do this. Ah, oh, my knees. I'm just like, I do this all the time. I feel like it's not good for my knees because I do have a bad knee. But I just love doing this. You know. It's harder to sit on a bed. So like, if it's on the floor it's better, of course. But, you know, sometimes I have to do it on a bed. And it's... It's just one of those things you have to do in life, okay? Show us your current favorite yoga position. Oh gosh, okay, I know what this means. Does not mean yoga position. This one, probably this one, you know. That's a wow, that's a wow. That's a wow, that's a wow. Is it so? Anyway guys, that is the end of my main channel video. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun filming this one. I don't know why, it just felt better than the others. <laughs> uh, maybe I was more open, I'm not sure. Anyway, I will see you very, very, very soon for another main channel video. Um, I have a 50% off discount right now on my exclusive pages. 50% off. <gasps> Insane. So come and join me on there. Let's get naughty one-on-one -on -one together. Mm -hmm. And I'll be up online all night waiting for you. So come and say hey. Mwah. Bye.